What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I clean my air rifle and my air pistol. So for cleaning my air pistol and my air rifle, I use the same kit. I have this VFG pull-through kit. I'll put a link down below um, if you're interested in getting one for yourself. The nice thing is it's super compact, so if you need to take it on a trip, you can, and it doesn't take up a lot of space or weight. So it comes with this uh, stainless steel cable that is uh, plastic coated so it won't scratch anything. On one end is a screw on um, cleaning tip where you put your cleaner pads and then you have a round pull assist pull through ball which is for the pull assist so you basically just slip this on and you're able to have an extra grip to pull it through the barrel. I don't normally use this but it is nice for people with less grip strength or if you have a really long barrel and it barely sticks out the end this would come in handy. So for what you use to clean it you have uh, two options. You have the white pull-throughs, which are just your basic cleaning pellets, and then your green ones, which are brass um, impregnated, so they just have little fibers in there, so they give a little more of a scrub to the barrel. I will only use these every two or three cleans, unless I'm noticing some reason to use these, but normally I just use three or four of the white ones to clean each of my barrels. And I clean about every 500 pellets, so about every 10 or so. So the process is the same, but slightly different for pistol and rifle, at least in my case. So for pistol, uh, I can't, if I try to put the ball in through the breech and out the front, what happens is it comes out here before the nose cone, so it's not coming out the front fully. So, and you wouldn't want to pull it from here because I don't think one that the other end would make this turn, but two, it's going to put it like side pressure on your barrel. So, you don't want to do that. So, instead, what I do is I take the screw on brass end and feed it through the cone breech into the bore and have it go all the way down. I have to open the breech all the way and twist a little bit sometimes, then it comes right out. So it's out this end and it's out fully on the cone. So all I do is screw on the cleaning felt which one end has a little indentation it may be hard to see but it's basically just a starter hole so that you can screw these cleaning pellets on so i screw it on basically till it stops so that it kind of flares out the back end and it gives me the best clean i found so then i will guide it into the breach and make sure the actual felt gets started because sometimes it can get stuck right here. And then for me, I just grab onto the cable and pull. If you don't have a good grip strength, you can use the pull assist, but you just wanna make sure you do it in one motion and get it all the way through the barrel. So this one's pretty clean because I've already run a couple through the pistol. The first one that came through looks like this so it's got some pretty good graphite dust you can kind of see the riflings go up through the pellet and that's usually what my first one will look like after about a 10 a 10 and a half of pellets so for rifle the only difference is i don't have to thread it from the bore end, which would actually be really difficult because you have the tube on the end, so it's actually harder to get into the barrel. So I just thread it in with the ball end 
all the way through. Till it comes out the end. Like I say, if you have a longer barrel, um, the actual pull assist may be handy because you don't really have a lot to grab onto. But again, I always make sure that it started in the breech and then just pull in one motion to make sure it doesn't get stuck. And then for rifle especially you'll normally have this little gray dot um, on the end which is just from the uh, barrel sleeve here at the end because it's the barrel stops back here you'll have a link that's a little bit dirtier and so when the cleaning pellet touches it you'll have that dark spot you don't want to keep running pellets through just to try to get rid of this dark spot because you probably won't won't happen if you want to clean the inside of the barrel sleeve other instruments would be better for that than these you really want to look at the back side right here and see how clean or dirty that is so same process if you're using the copper embedded ones i would usually run a copper one through first or second and then run a couple more of the white ones through um, to do a full clean but overall it's a pretty simple process uh, it can take up to 20 or 30 pellets before groups resize especially if you're on the rifle side to get your groups fully back it could take up to 30 shots so don't do this right before match um, best to do it right after a match and make sure that you've done it previously to know how it affects your groups and your barrel. Pistol obviously group sizes are a lot bigger overall so it's less of a factor but you still don't want to do it right before a match. But make sure you are maintaining your air rifles and air pistols in order to keep them working at their highest performance for your career and you know that your equipment is not limiting you. If you like seeing more tutorials on how I use certain pieces of my equipment, please let me know down below. And if you guys clean your air rifle and air pistol in a different way, um, let me know or hit me up on social media. I always enjoy learning. And hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe if you like following along on my journey.